Greetings and salutations friends, my name is Ariana and today I'm going to be ranting about a movie that I really hate because a lot of people post videos about like, this movie is trash and I figured I have unwanted opinions that nobody cares about so I should probably talk about them, right? Yes, yeah, so here we go. I'm talking about the movie Sin City. I hate Sin City with a burning passion and I'm going to tell you why right now. So Sin City is a movie released like in like the 2000s, like 2000s I'm pretty sure. And it basically is a comic book adaptation about macho macho men who save women in distress and sex and action and awesome manly stuff. And the portrayal of women in this movie is absolutely horrendous and I'm going to talk about that because it makes me really really angry that this is such like a popular cult classic when really it's promoting such horrible messages. And two main messages are the ones I'm going to be talking about the sexualization of women in this movie, and the abuse of women in this movie. Two really, really great subjects, right? So here we go. So first with the sexualization of women. The first storyline, as you, like, so Sin City has like different storylines, different plots. And the first one is about this guy who really cares about this prostitute. Like he like, is like a, a prostitute he's been involved with for a while. It's purely business, like you know, she's just doing her job, but they seem to have like an intimate relationship when he ever, whenever he like makes an appointment. So basically, he's with her one night, and plot spoilers ahead, she gets killed. She's killed in their bed, like in, in, in like the hotel in their bed. And my issue with her death is that the last shot we see of her dead body is her naked. She's naked. She has a blanket up to here, and all of her chest is out. Her breasts are being shown, and it's like... She's dead. She just died. This is a dead body, but she is still sexualized in death? That's a little odd. Let's see what else this movie shows. So in the same storyline, the same man, he has a parole officer. And this parole officer is introduced to be a lesbian. And at first glance, you're like, wow, representation, that's awesome. No, spoke too soon. It's not even good representation. Because he makes a comment about her being a lesbian. He says that if she wasn't a lesbian, it's too bad that she's a lesbian because she's so hot and would have all the guys all over her if she weren't a lesbian. Which is such a not cool thing to say about people who are gay. Like, you're sexualizing and, like, wishing they were heterosexual. Like, what are you, what? Whatever. The first time we see this character, she rolls out of bed and, oh, of course, she's naked. And you want to think that it's normalized sexuality, but you know that it's not because in the context of this movie, you know it's just, here's a woman who's hot, let's show her boobs. Because that's what people want. That's what the guys want to see in the movie, right? Okay. So this parole officer and this man get kidnapped by a cannibal. And they are in, like, this empty jail cell. And she wakes up and she's missing an arm. Like, her arm has been chewed off. But she's naked. And that's really, what that's, like, what we want to see. We don't care about her being, like, tortured or, like, what? No! Show us her boobs. And so because she's naked, of course, he takes his big coat off and, like, a nice man gives it to her because he needs to help her. And the last shot we see is of her in distress, like, like him holding her and the camera pulls out, but not before we get a nice view of her butt. Excellent. I love sexualizing a woman in distress. Now, next storyline. Next storyline is a little girl in distress this time, but don't worry, she'll be sexualized later as an adult. So basically, this little girl has been kidnapped by a pedophile. She's about to be assaulted and tortured when Bruce Willis comes to save her. Bruce Willis ends up getting caught in this whole thing, and while saving her life, he ends up going to jail. And she is so grateful. Like, she is grateful for this man who has saved... Let me just check on time. Okay. She is grateful for this man who has saved her life, and she writes him letters in jail. And, like, she's probably, like, maybe 9 to 13 years old. And she writes him letters for, like, the course of 10 years as he's in jail. And they develop a relationship. Like, he's like... I see her as my daughter, I'm her father figure. Something along those lines of like, she's my daughter, I'm her father figure type of thing. Finally, one day, the letters stop coming in. And he's worried for her safety. He's worried that like, that like some guy found her and took revenge or something or whatever. So he's released from prison and he goes to find her to make sure she's okay. And the first time we see her after he's been released from prison is that she's now a stripper. Okay. And... She's 18 or 19 years old because, you know, that's the legal age that we can have them have a relationship or else it'll be gross. And the first time they lock eyes, she gets off of the stage, runs, and kisses him. Hello? Why are you... Why are you guys making out? That's so disgusting. You just said that you were a father figure. And now that she's legal and sexualized on stage in a bikini, 
now there's a relationship that's romantic that's a that's disgusting like that's like the most repulsive part of the movie to me personally so like that's like the first part of the movie where it's like women are sexy awesome but only for men they're only sexy because we need them to be the second part of the movie is that i want to address is the abuse of women in this movie so in the first storyline with the prostitute the man is upset because he loved this prostitute and he says that he's gonna he vows to take revenge on the guy who killed her so as he's going to like find the guy, it turns out the prostitute has a twin sister who's also pissed about her death and thinks that the man, the main character did it and so is trying to kill him. And they have a whole debacle and he basically says to her, you know, I don't hit women, but I need you to stop attacking me. Like this has to stop, I'm on your side. I didn't hurt her, I promise, I really cared about her. So then finally they find the guy who killed the prostitute and she's like, you know, I wanna be the one to kill him that's my sister, he, I want to hurt him. And he's like, well, no, I want to hurt him because I loved her. And basically, when they find the guy, he's like, remember how I said I wasn't going to hit women? Well, mm, I take that back. I'm going to punch you and knock you out because something along the lines of, oh, doll, you don't want to see what I'm going to do to this guy. You, you, Your innocent eyes need to be shielded from the pain that I'm going to do to this man. And it's like, you just said you would never hit a woman, but in this case, it's okay because... You're trying to save her virgin soul from seeing this stuff? Like, what? Why are you normalizing this abuse? That's not the only part. And another storyline about a guy who goes to this prostitution city where it's perfectly fine for prostitution, it's all good, like the cops give it a green light um, in a red light district, haha, <laughs> puns. Basically, the leader of like this prostitution district is a um, very strong, powerful woman, very sexual woman, and that's okay. Like, her, I think her character... Is okay until the part where her and the, the main guy in this storyline have a huge fight because this whole thing happened and they got into a really big fight because they messed up. And he hits her. He straight up hits her because they're fighting. And the second he's done hitting her, like the second the punch is over, they like their eyes connect and she kisses him. And they like sexually make out. What that tells me is that it, whatever just happened is fine. He just hit her, but it's fine because their sexual attraction no this is not okay and so people don't realize that you know people talk about Quentin Tarantino and the messages that he promotes to young boys about women and and about um violence but Robert Rodriguez is just as bad with this movie who he, Robert Rodriguez is a director and him and Quentin Tarantino work closely together on a lot of movies Quentin Tarantino even guest like directed on Sin City so both men are just think about it are promoting these messages to young boys in which it is okay to sexualize women to hurt women to view them as objects of desire for men and that's not okay and it's disguised in this really act this it's like toxic masculinity in this movie where it's like you need to be saving women in distress but also kissing them and seeing them as like your love affair and being macho and strong and tough and it's just such a, such a toxic movie for both boys and girls. And I was just really disgusted by this movie because some people can watch this and not even see this message at all. They just, they, it, they miss the signs. But all I could think about watching this movie was how atrocious women are portrayed in this film. And anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I really wanted to rant about this movie because it just makes me so angry that this is such a popular movie. And I was really excited to see it. I didn't know anything about it. I thought it was really cool because technically it is a cool movie. Like, Technically speaking, the colors are cool and the narration is cool. The style of the movie is really, really interesting and very like, like noir. But when you look at the the messages being promoted, it's really, really gross. And I just wanted to talk about that. So, you know, if you like the movie to each his own and if you want to go watch it to make fun of it or because you really like it, that's fine. I just personally have a problem with this movie and wanted to talk shit about it. So if you like this video and want to see me talking shit about more movies, you should totally like this video or don't because I don't make videos ever and don't deserve your attention. But thanks for watching, and I will see you again in a year with another video. Thank you.